clap. Friends, that's not the Unitech way. We clap for each and every graduate as they walk across the stage. Kapai? Excellent, thank you. And can I also ask that you stay until the very end. Your loved one uh, may graduate maybe early in the procedure, but it would be fantastic if we can show our respect and our manaki for every graduate by clapping for all of them and remaining until the end. So shortly, you will hear the call of the karanga, welcoming our graduates in. That will be our cue to stand. And we'll remain standing uh, until they've all taken their seats uh, and then I'll speak with you again. We ready? Kapai, let's get started. Kia ora, everyone.
Ho mai te pake pake au no mō te whae ake kapa haka ropu. In a moment, I will invite our pai arahi, Matua Hare Paniora MNZM, to lead us in karakia timatanga. But until then, would you please remain upstanding, remove your hats, and join in the national anthem.
Manawa mai te Māori nuku, manawa mai te Māori rangi. Ko te Māori kei au, he Māori tipua. Ka pakaru mai te pō, tau mai te Māori. Haumi e, hui e, tāiki e. Please be seated. Tēnā koe mātua, te ora mō tō karakea me tō āwhi kia mātou e tēnei rā. I now have great pleasure to call to the stage Toa Whanawa, MNZM, the Executive Director Rohewan, to address the graduands. Hi, kia ora mai hui hui tātou, kua tai mai i tēnei te ahi ai i te pō nei, a mai i rotu i tēnei te kaupapa te haka hira hira. A hoki, nō rei rei, ki ana te kōrero, nau mai, haere mai, piki mai, kake mai, mauria mai, tō koutou whakaro i rotu i tēnei te ahua tanga te kaupapa o te rā nei. Ko te mea tuatahi, ka huri ke atu, kia koe whaia linda, te kai kōrero te tuatahi mō tō karanga hei awhi hei tiaki rā nei mō ngā tauira i tēnei rā. Anō hoki e te matua hāre mō tō krakia hei timata te hui mō tēnei te ahi ahi. Nō reira, koutou mā, whakalofalahi atu. Tā lofalawa mā lō e le lei ki o rana ni San Bulavi Nāka ni hao kaise hai Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Good afternoon, uh, everyone. It is with pleasure today that we welcome you all to this graduation ceremony. It's a privilege to also have this fine collection of graduates here today too, as it is their achievements uh, that we celebrate uh, together. I'm Tor Faneva. Executive Director Rohe Wan, and it is my very great pleasure to welcome you all to Unitec's Autumn Graduation Ceremony today in celebration of the achievement of our 2023 Unitec graduates. Homai te paki paki. I have had the pleasure of attending many graduation ceremonies. Nothing takes away the excitement and pride of graduation day. And those feelings are present in this room today. For each of you, this ceremony will mean different things and you will probably go through a range of emotions. Joy at your own achievements, pleasure at seeing your classmates here with you, an internal smile at the hard work you endured to get here, and maybe just a little bit of nervousness about walking across this stage. But don't worry about that, because myself and the Honourable Pesita, Sam Lotuinga, and our, our other Executive Director, Rohe Wan, we will be here to greet you. And when you look out into the audience from up here, you'll feel the reflected pride of your whānau. So, when you come up, stand tall, stand straight, stand proud. You'll also see pride in the faces of your tutors and lecturers who have worked with you during your studies. Hold on to those feelings and take them with you as you carry on your journey of learning. Learning is all about acquiring new knowledge, new skills, new experiences, new friends, and often a new you. Lifelong learning enhances our understanding of the world around us and provides us with more and better opportunities and improves our quality of life. It is never too late to start learning, and it is always too early to stop. I know there will be great things achieved by those of you in this room today. 
and we will continue to watch with interest from Te Wānang Wairaka from Unitech. Continue to engage, inspire and invigorate your minds. Be proud of what you've achieved today. Stay motivated, stay hungry for knowledge and stay working together. I know there will be great things achieved by those of you in this room today and we'll continue to watch with pride from Unitech. So go out there and be the best versions of yourselves. Aim high and the rest will follow. Nō reira, ko mutu e hōtaku kōrero i tēnei te ahia i te pōnei. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Kia ora mai hui hui tātou. I know we honour you by wearing academic regalia, but I wish our academic tūpuna had chosen lighter materials. Maybe something with a fan built in somewhere. I do apologise, I know it's very hot. Kia ora toa. I now have great pleasure in introducing tonight's guest speaker. Natasha Tash Nansen is a project manager Capital Works at Kiwi Rail, a company committed to building stronger connections through rail, freight, ferry, property and tourism. Tash is responsible for the overall direction and implementation of key strategic goals for Kiwi Rail, having been with them for over two years. Perhaps equally important, if not more important, Tash is a lecturer with Unitech, uh, bringing that industry experience right into the classroom. Will you join me in welcoming to the stage Tash Nansen? Tēnā koutou katoa and greetings to you all. My name is Natasha Nansen and it's an honour to be your guest speaker here tonight. I would like to acknowledge Executive Co-Directors for Rohe One, Honourable Peseta Sam Lotolinga and Toa Faniva for this opportunity. Graduands, this is the last ceremony for the night and you know what they say, Save the best for last. So, if you're from the School of Building and Construction, Computing, Electrical and Applied Technology, Trades and Services, congratulations to each and every one of you. You've made it to this moment and you all should be really proud. I know it hasn't been easy, but I can certainly assure you it will be well worth it. I extend my congratulations to your family and friends here tonight, those who are viewing this online, and for those of you who experience loss in the way, your loved ones as they cheer you on from above. Congratulations also to the team of high caliber academics and, ex and professional staff who have successfully guided another cohort safely to this finish line. Graduands, let me take you down memory lane. Let's take a moment to reflect. I want you to reflect on the reason why you started this journey. Reflect on all the early mornings and late nights that you committed, the changes that you had to make in order to balance your studies and other life commitments. And so here you are, what a milestone. Your resilience and strength has got you to this point. And after graduation, you will enter a new chapter in your journey. As you do, I lay down a challenge. I challenge you to never stop learning. I graduated from Unitech in 2009, the University of Auckland 2012 and I'll briefly share my journey and what life looked like after graduation. I come from humble beginnings. My parents were first generation Samoans in New Zealand and worked blood, sweat and tears in the factories to ensure me and my siblings received an education. 
Growing up, I watched my parents learn with the tools that they had and move out of these factory jobs. This changed the course for me, my siblings, and the next generation. As a teenager, I was told by a careers advisor that I wouldn't make it into architecture school because of my grades. As a deflated 17-year-old, I challenged this. Five years later, I completed my master's in architecture professional, and I completed it with honours. Thank you. <laughs> I've been in the construction industry ever since, and I absolutely love it. And staying true to the, to the challenge that I laid before you, I'm also continuing to learn as I, as I complete my postgraduate studies in law. During my career, I've project managed multi-million dollar projects for some incredible employers. Property Services, the University of Auckland, Corporate Property, Toyota Motor Corporation Australia. I lecture at the School of Building and Construction, Unitech. And out in the field, I am the Capital Program Manager for property with KiwiRail. KiwiRail is one of New Zealand's largest landowners with over 18,000 hectares of land, 900 plus buildings, and a property portfolio worth $4.2 billion, I head the delivery team across New Zealand. The team is made up of some intelligent senior project managers, one of whom also graduated from Unitech. Throughout my career, I would often find myself as the only Pacifica female at the table. Imposter syndrome would kick in. This didn't stop me from doing the hard work. I smashed out projects on time and within budget, and I surrounded myself with high caliber leaders who had my back and unknowingly, in their own ways, shut this imposter nonsense down. And so to summarise, I have three key points from my journey in the hopes that they may contribute to yours. One, don't let anyone tell you that you cannot make it. If they do, challenge it. Stand your ground, your ground is sacred. Two, imposter syndrome. Put it in the bin. That didn't get you here, your resilience did. The sooner that you put imposter syndrome in the bin, the sooner you will realise that you deserve the seat at that table. Three, put in the hard work, seize the opportunities, and never stop learning. Graduands, as you walk across the stage tonight, seize the moment. You do not walk alone. You walk with your ancestors, your family, your supporters, and you most certainly walk with the support of Unitech. As you enter your next stage or your next chapter, I wholeheartedly wish you all the very best. Tonight, we celebrate you. Family, friends, those here tonight, you also deserve to seize the moment. As your person's name gets read out, sing, cheer, choo your heart's out. And so, as I come to the end of my speech, I would like to leave you with a few words of encouragement that my parents would always say to me in Samoan. In English, this translates to well done on being patient and being strong. My name is Natasha Nansen. I am of Samoan and Norwegian heritage. I am the daughter of Guala Viliamo Nansen and Aumi Fia Afamasanga Nansen. And I'm a very proud Unitech alumna. Kia ora.
and, some might say, an overachiever. <laughs> and you know what we say about that? Heck yes. Heck yes. Be overachievers. And I love, Tash, that you've given us a roadmap uh, for becoming that overachiever. I love that stand your ground, bin the imposter syndrome, I really like that one, and never stop learning. And I think if we all follow that, hopefully we'll all be overachievers. Can you join me once again in thanking Tash Nansen? Unfortunately, Kiwi Rail never stops. There's a joke in there somewhere. I just don't have it yet. Uh, and Tush needs to leave us, but we very much appreciate her taking the time to be with us tonight. We now move to the formal conferral of the awards. And to do that, I call to the stage the Honourable Pesita Sam Lotoinga, Executive Director, Rohe One. Fafte, Lo Fionga, Professor Martin Carroll. In a mana, in a reo, in a iwi, e rauranga tira ma, no mai haere mai, piki mai, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. We pa ia maua lunga, wa awai me nei aso, pa ia las lasi o le mana whenua, tau se upe mwumili le fafte le atua, Wa tau nuk le nei fa moe moe le nei aso matungo fi malo la vla soi fu ma o malangi mama. Well, hello everyone and welcome. Um, it is been we're we're ceremony number three, and as Tash has said, it's um, it's just you know save the best till last. Um, let's have a fun time. It's been a long day, but it's been a great day. Um, to our graduands before us, I um, just want to welcome you, your whānau, your families, friends, supporters who are here, but also those that are not here, which touch, touched on. Um, you know, you may have had relatives that couldn't be here overseas. Some have passed away, but I just want to acknowledge all those that have played a part in you being here today. I do want to acknowledge uh, our um, whaikaranga, Linda, Marama, um, Tomato Hare, thank you um, for our welcome, our, our welcome, our cultural welcome into this um, important special event. To Tash, and it's unfortunate that, that she's not here, but I do want to thank her for the just telling a, a, a migrant story. And I look, I look across our, um, our konga, our learners here today, many of whom are migrants, many of whom have had the struggles that Tash has had, and I know many of you would have overcome the adversity that Tash spoke about in her life. Um, what we do here at, uh, at uh, Unitech is that we put our akonga, our learners at the centre, and today is no different. You are being celebrated here this evening, and we're putting you at the centre. But having said that, we do want to acknowledge all the the people that have brought this together, and especially behind me, are just some of the people that have supported you. Our kaimahi, our staff, our lecturers, our frontline people, our support staff, our clerical workers, there's a whole range of people, over uh, 750 who are part of the team that serve you on a daily basis to help you achieve your goals. So I just want to acknowledge our kaimahi here. One of the things that brings us together as kaimahi is our values. Te noho kotahitanga is at the centre of how we, how we treat one another, but also how we treat you. And it, uh, you know, I think for me the core is manakitanga, collaboration, cooperation, how we care and love and serve. So, you know, that is at the heart of what we do. Um, and Tash talked about it. Um, we're just not. It's not just about the qualification, the training, the learning. It's also about the resilience that we build up, the character that you develop along the way, inside and outside the classroom. And above all as well, it's about the relationships that you have fostered along the way. 
So look, without further ado, my role here is a formal role, um, and I do want to uh, move to that very important task. Can I ask that our graduates please stand? All of you stand. Etu. On behalf of the Council of Te Pukenga, it's my pleasure to advise you that all those who are standing before you today and those who are listed as in absentia have satisfied all of the criteria required for the qualifications that they have been awarded and the academic board have so certified in accordance with the Education and Training Act 2020. The council and the chief executive have granted them the awards listed in the program. Graduands, you are now and forever after graduates. Can we have a round of applause for our graduands, please? <laughs> Can I ask you to now sit? Take a seat. Tafte mole ava noa, nore ira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Tēnā tātou katoa. Now we move to the capping part of the ceremony. So you just need to follow your usher's instructions. When you come to the stage, you'll wait at the top of the stairs. We'll check your name. When it's called out, Make your way to Toa Faneva, who will greet you, either by shaking the hand or, if you prefer, just put your hand on your heart. If you're receiving a degree or postgraduate qualification, he will also cap you in that moment. Then you'll make your way down to where Pesita will be standing. He will present you with your testama. Don't run off. Pause, because this wonderful man here will take your photograph. My notes here say, tell them to not fall over, so there's that too. I hope, I hope that helps. Can I now invite Pesita and Tor to the front of the stage? And also Dr. Simon Nash and Annette Pitaval, who have the essential task of making sure that you all get the correct testama. I now call upon Associate Professor Linda Kestel to commence the presentation of the graduands. Can I introduce today by saying we have senior scholars graduating today at some point during the ceremony. And the Senior Scholar Award is made to graduands who consistently achieve exceptional grades throughout their course of study. And a taonga will be presented as the student is called for the conferral of their degree. So first up, I have much pleasure in presenting to the Executive Director for Rohe One, the Diplomates of the New Zealand Diploma in Architectural Technology, Level 6. So first we have Supriya Bapat. <laughs> Daniel De Cruz. Mark Francisco. Matthew Hinton. Pacheapa Jaguranalo. Moon Suk Kim.
Shefali Shirag Lad. Manchu Lee. C.C. Lin. Juan Ma. Oops, slow down. <laughs> Sorry, forgot about the autograph session. <laughs> Sorry, Juan. He's down there. Woo! Sarah Mead. <laughs> Sorry? Can I? Jacqueline Mitchell. Adam Moy. <laughs> Vivit Nadan. <laughs> Rainish Nadan. <laughs> Sin Yung Pang. Path Patel. <laughs> Ye Orong Chi. <laughs> Sarah Siddons. <laughs> Seng Chai Shok. Amelia Tofa Tofa. <laughs> Michelle Walker. <laughs> Chi Shi Waung. <laughs> Rosalie Watson. Jennifer Watson. And Kiara Grace Williams. Chi Chi Wu. Yu Chin Yin. <laughs> Johan Yu. <laughs> Men Yao Yu A. I now present the Diplomates of the New Zealand Diploma in Construction Management, Level 6. Vikshay Chandra. <laughs> Kavita Doshi. Malik Gasimi Zarankesh. <laughs> Leo Yu. Oh, Valley Man. Nice. 
Tianxi Ni. Bevan Van Wyck. Leanne T.A. Wa'am. Ziyan Yu. Peng Zhao. Kent Zhong. Now we come to the money people. <laughs> I now present the diplomates of the New Zealand Diploma in Construction Quantity Surveying, Level 6. Ena, Ena Yatula Ali Madad. Isabella Ashmore. Ina Benete. Sean Brentnall. Jonathan. Jose Bustos Ganica. <laughs> Nina Scholl. <laughs> Abhishek Chuhan. <laughs> Joma de Guzman. Jagit Singh Danoa. <laughs> Kristen Diaz Molina. <laughs> Atanoa Fa'a Uma. Alexis Hazelwood. <laughs> Sinsen Huan. <laughs> Song He Jung. <laughs> Jesse Kearns. Kwam. O is also receiving the New Zealand Certificate in Construction Trade Skills Level 3 Carpentry. Alice Lee. No? Yes, yes. No, it was only the previous one that's got two. Don't panic. Sorry. <laughs> also another QS, <laughs> just in case. Uh, si Hui Lee. Andrew Yun Liu. Leo. <laughs> Sinsen Liu. <laughs> Lin Nguyen. <laughs> y 
Yo Min Oh. Kilis Sistina Palu. Yan, sorry, Yan Lee Chu. Sajad Rashidi. Suhail Saba. John Salivio. He managed say Hajbal. Irina Selly Vanova. <laughs> Sam Shevchenko. <laughs> Ella Stevens. Nelly Kagirova. Senti Sentil Ruban Tangavale. Dale T. Bangwe. Enrico van Skalwijk. <laughs> Abigail Woodworth. Lu Ya Ng. She and you. <laughs> Yun Yong. <laughs> Li Jiao Yong. Okay, thank you. Now, I present the Diplomates of the New Zealand Diploma in Engineering, Civil Engineering, Level 6. Nam Kiyu An. Aloka Gula Gay. Tane Hodgson. <laughs> Yun Taik Jun. <laughs> Asriel Lipsham. Chang Leo.
Nathan Ryan Linden. Sandeep Situ. Raynal Singh. Victoria Sterana. I now present the Diplomates of Venetian Diploma in Surveying, Level 6, Christopher Benson. Abhijit Chaves. Monique Hopkinson. Sarah Blanson. Saad Mohammed Afzal. <laughs> Can't follow that one, can you? Well, we might try. Matthew P. Graham. <laughs> Vernon Talon. Okay, I now present to the co-executive director for Rohe One, the graduands for the Bachelor of Construction, Construction Economics, Olivia Chen. <laughs> Sophie Cooper. Liam Dorotich. <laughs> Sean Fernandez. <laughs> Bay Galea. <laughs> Adam Harris. Benjamin Hiles Smith. <laughs> Bunling Ah. Oh. Nathaniel Kingston. Yin N. Mai. Han U. Shu A. Pan. Michelle Peter Sigowin. <laughs> Rex Christian. <laughs> Makare Tabana Vanua. <laughs> I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Construction, Construction Management. Francesca Blumenstein Tate. <laughs> 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 
Giuliano. <laughs> That, in case you missed it, <laughs> was Juliano Bryce. <laughs> Alice Daniels. <laughs> Ian Fistinich. Annie Fong. Richard Harmon. Jonathan Hibbier. Himanshu, Hisham, Hewama, Wasam, Guru Kandagay. Julian Huggins. <laughs> Zariush Irani. Eret Janutsi. <laughs> Chen Long Lim. <laughs> Lace Nasir. Afi Wat Fet Bangun. <laughs> Henry Sampson. <laughs> Nathan Stain. Bo Yuan Sui. He's here. <laughs> Te Kitohi Ma Tamanui Fransom. Jahao Zhu. <laughs> I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Construction, Property Development. Luke Bailey. Christopher Howes. <laughs> Richard Ramsey. I 
I now present the graduates for the double major, Bachelor of Construction, Construction Economics, and also Construction Management. Cameron Hames. <laughs> Michael Hamrich. <laughs> Helen Lee. And before we leave Helen, Helen is also receiving the New Zealand Diploma in Construction Quantity Surveying Level 6. <laughs> T. Wan Lee. Another double major. This time I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Construction construction economics, and also property development. Moon He Back. Isaki <laughs> Kora. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Engineering Technology, Civil Engineering, Meron Abraham. <coughs> Sanu Baby. Christopher Clark. And I now call on Paul Durison, Head of School, Building Construction, to present the Ta'onga to our senior scholar, Nandong. <laughs> Nan is also receiving the New Zealand Diploma in Engineering, Civil Engineering Level 6. So to continue with BNG Tech Civil Engineering, <laughs> Mikhail G. Law. Chrisa George. Asi Fuller. Hakiksai. <laughs> Arif Jafpuri. <laughs> Anna Jo. Manushi Fernando. <laughs> Callum Lobendam. <laughs> Rudy Nicholas. Before Rudy goes, he's also receiving the New Zealand Diploma in Engineering, Civil Engineering Level 6. <laughs> Jaskirat Riat Singh. <laughs> Bahir Saba, who is also receiving the Level 6 Civil Engineering New Zealand Diploma.
Peter Shaw. <laughs> Eliza Tarakin. <laughs> Sione Vaya. Yohun Wong. <laughs> Xing Xing Wu. <laughs> like some of the others, Xing Xing is also receiving the New Zealand Diploma in Engineering, Civil Engineering Level 6. And last in this group, Yung Chao Xu. Could I call again on Paul Jurison, please, to present the Taonga to our senior scholar, Hiwa Yaung. I now present to the Executive Director for Rohe One the diplomates of the Graduate Diploma in Construction Project Management. Kashmi Bangamuwe Abaiguna Wadana. Edward Kagampang. And we have two from the same family here. And the first one is Danajali Sevwandi Daimata Ketike. <laughs> and then we have Danajali Sumini Daimata Ketike. Yu Tong Huan. <laughs> Jin Lian Luau. <laughs> Machake Tari Makedzwa. Mac yep. Peace. Rissit Patel. <laughs> Jenison Rook. <laughs> Fernando Silipan. <laughs> Tara. Do I just wait there? And call on Blair? Okay. I would love to now call on Blair Sorensen to present the next awards, please.
Katoa. I have much pleasure in presenting to the Executive Director, Orohe Wan, the recipients of the New Zealand Certificate in Electrical Pre-Trade. Ka ha. Ebony Reed. Roy Hannah Smith. Corbin Tofelila. Akawan Tentani. Ka Wong. I now present the recipients of the New Zealand Certificate in Information Technology Essentials Level 4, Bashka Ate. Alan Kaleopa. I now present the diplomats of the New Zealand Diploma in Information Systems, Level 5, Asha Beepin. Quinton Galandis. Michael Maihi. Jay Manila. Jay is also receiving the New Zealand Certificate in Information Technology Essentials Level 4. Xavier Ivan Nabua. Rosario Valle Escudero. Gujan Bashka. I now present the diplomats of New Zealand Diploma in Cyber Security, Gunja Bashka, and Danielle Domingo. Adrian Her. Majid Ibda. MD Sadako Islam. Gemma Marriott. Apeksha Patel. Amurali Shakosh. Kelly Jane Stainsfield. Khaled Sujan. I now present the diplomats of the New Zealand Diploma in Engineering, Level 6, Electrical Engineering, Omar Kimba.
Tyler Pocky. Kitty Sherwin Piriyasami. I now present to the co-executive director for Rohe One the graduates for the Bachelor of Applied Technology. Kumara Aligawa One Mohiti Apuhamilaj. Martin Bueno. <laughs> Alastair Duncan. <laughs> Rijan Mananda. Rijan is also receiving the New Zealand Certificate in Automotive Engineering Level 3. My brother and team member from the Unitech Pathways College, proud of you, Arban Prasad. Rishan Sampatha Waduji. <laughs> Pioeva Sasa. <laughs> Abhishek Sharma. Abhishek is also receiving the New Zealand Certificate in Study and Career Preparation, Level 3. Dulaj Priyasad Babaru Arik Chigni. Nalaka Navinda Bandara Wijasundara Muriyan Selaj. Soham Ariya. I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Computing Systems, Soham Ariya and Pasit Cho. Nathan Crook. Mitchell Farnan. <laughs> Maximilian Hewitt. <laughs> Maximilian is also receiving the New Zealand Diploma in Information Systems Level 5. <laughs> Siyan Jiong. I call on Hamid Sharif Zadeh to present the Taonga to Senior Scholar, Anna McCall. I call on Hamid Sharif Zadeh once more to present the Taonga to Senior Scholar Danaka Rose Montano. <laughs> K. 
James Neville. James is also receiving the New Zealand Certificate in Information Technologies Essentials Level 4. Paniani D. Paniani. Kelso Papali'i. Priyam Patel. I call on Hamid Sharif Sadeh to present the Taonga too. Senior scholar, Aquila Pohiva. James Pratt. Priya Rane. Sudesh Ravi Chandran. Hamish Reddy. Suman Preet Singh Saini. Jatinda Singh. Scarlet Sunset. Minfi Benny Tran. <laughs> Mulu Zileke. <laughs> I now present the graduates for the Bachelor of Engineering Technology, Electrical Engineering, Reno Chandra. Dan Dan Her. <laughs> Lee Chen Lu. <laughs> I call on Marana Bogosanovich. To present the Taonga to Senior Scholar Prashant Shresti Krista. <laughs> Zenda Volshenk. Hin said Yevio. I now present to the Executive Director for Rohe Wan the diplomats of the Graduate Diploma in Computing. Silpa Kadang. Jay Thacker.
Xiao Yu Zhong. I now present the diplomats of the Postgraduate Diploma in Applied Technologies. Ria Adlaka. Athira Ravindran. Kanari Shah. Emel Sivi. Rivati Viradia. I now present to the co executive director for Rohe One, the graduate for the Master of Computing, Maloni Tutupo. I now present the graduate for the Doctor of Computing, Randall Ratana. I call on Hamid Sharif Zadeh to read out the doctoral abstract. Kia ora koutou. I'm Hamid Sharif Zadeh professor and academic program manager at the School of Computing, Electrical and Applied Technology. Randall's thesis studied the application of natural language processing to improve the detection of signs of schizophrenia and psychosis in Maori patients based on language dysfunction. The study was conducted in a rural location of the Upper North Island of New Zealand, where 90% of the population identify as Maori. The study sample was from patients who attended the local community mental health clinic for initial assessment. A speech was elicited from individual participants using the free speech technique. The Kapapa Maori approach of engaging in dialogue in the format of Korero informed this method of free speech technique. A speech samples were also obtained from a control group of Maori individuals with no known history of mental illness using the methods of a voice recordings and free speech technique. The results show a difference between the patients and control samples. This study demonstrated that natural language processing could identify speech and language dysfunction in Maori patients with sign of a psychosis and a schizophrenia. Natural language processing can be useful in aiding clinicians to detect signs of psychosis and schizophrenia based on language dysfunction. In addition to UNITEC FANU, we would like to acknowledge Tangata Fayora of the Fakatana Hospital, who freely offer their narrative to support a greater cause for our people. Matua Jogelen for his Tikanga advice as an esteemed Kai Matua. Lastly and most importantly, immense gratitude to Randall's wife, Dr. Jamuna Krishnan, for her support and assistance throughout this journey. Namihi nui kiakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto katua. It gives me great pride to now call on Tu Nu'u Ali'itia to present the next awards. Kia ora koutou katoa, tawa falawa. I have much pleasure at presenting to the Executive Director for Rohi One, the recipients of the New Zealand Certificate in Automotive Engineering, Level three. 
Simon Bigri. Pramuk Birnagoda Gamaj. Patrick Coleman. Dilpreet Singh. Hamish Dulab. Jade Rich. Lavery Marlon Pasesi. Petsamoni Pali. Isaac Skaha. Abi Sheik. Calvin Singh. Anath Susashin. George Titley. Sidra Waddell. Daniel William Lynch. I now present the recipients of the New Zealand Certificate in Construction Trade Skills, Level 3 Carpentry. Bruno Klein. Ramon Mitihepi. Bailey Schuster Fatmosili. Jason Thompson. Katie Tiwata. Jacody Valves. I now present the recipients of the New Zealand Certificate in Mechanical Engineering, Level 3. Gerrit Falongo. Jonathan Federica Zavale. Diem Nguyen. Jaswant Kumar Yeripali. I acknowledge all those graduating in absentia. Thank you. Thank you, Tor, Pesita, Simon, and Annette. <clears throat> the most feared job at graduation is reading the names. And I think we can agree that they did an excellent job. So my thanks uh, to uh, our readers, <laughs> Linda, Blair, and Sue.
It is traditional at this time in the ceremony to invite a student to deliver the response on behalf of the graduates. And tonight I'm delighted to say that the person giving the address on your behalf is this year's student president. Will you please help me welcome to the stage Christine Fusil. Keep your eyes to the sky and your feet on the ground. Mabuhay and kiora. I'm Christine, the student president, and on behalf of the Unitec Student Council, I would like to acknowledge and welcome all family members, friends, the academic staff, and of course, the graduates of 2023. Graduation day symbolizes the end of an important chapter in your life but also marks the beginning of your new journey, whether here in Aotearoa or any corner of the world. Pagkatapos ng lahat ng pagod, sakripisyo, sipag at syaga, ngayon masasabi niyo ng salamat at nairaos din. Hindi mahalaga kung gaano katagal, basta't ang importante ay hindi ka tumigil. After all the sacrifices, hard work, and perseverance, you can now finally thank yourself and confidently say, I made it. It doesn't matter how long it took to get here, but what's important is that you never gave up. Take a moment to acknowledge everything you've done. Your family, friends, teachers, staff, everyone who has helped you to be here. The journey to reach this point wasn't such a walk in the park. All the moments of homesickness, loneliness, and the overwhelming pressure of passing your exams and beating the 11.59 p.m. deadlines. Moments where you questioned whether it was right to grab another cup of coffee or choose to eat a pack of noodles, which may or may not have been your fourth pack throughout the week. All of the decisions you've made to help you finish further studies required immense courage and resilience, and you did that. As you embark on this new chapter of your life, always remember te noho ko tanga. Hold on to the values of guardianship, cooperation, legitimacy, respect, and authority and responsibility as you navigate the complexities of the professional world. Never lose sight of who you are and what you stand for. And of course, don't forget to take care of yourself and lift others because kindness, empathy, and generosity go a long way. Never underestimate the power that you hold to make a positive impact in society and to make this world a slightly better place. But above all else, seek growth because learning goes far beyond your educational journey. Be curious and always have a thirst for knowledge. Remember, not everyone gets the opportunity and privilege that you have. Not everyone has the skills you've acquired, skills that are unique only to you. So embrace those new opportunities and step out of your comfort zone. Because as Steve Jobs once said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. All together, let's take a moment and be present with ourselves. I invite everyone to please close your eyes and think about those who have been with you throughout this journey. Feel the warmth of their presence, the strength of their support, and their belief in your potential. Take one deep breath and tell yourself, I made it. Now open your eyes and tell the person next to you, hey, you made it. <laughs> so congratulations, graduates of 2023. At the end of the day, it's not just about what you achieve or don't achieve but it's also about who you become along the way. Remember to always keep your eyes to the sky, but your feet on the ground. Mata sa langit, paa sa lupa, 
Thank you and maraming salamat. Yeah, on behalf of Unitech, I do want to apologize for those 11.59 p.m. deadlines. We'll work on that. There's got to be a better way. <laughs> Folks, I think we can agree that the students who are following in your footsteps are going to be exceptionally well supported and advocated for by our current student president. Could you join me one more time in thanking Christine Fusio? Well, we are nearly at the end of the proceedings. And for some of us, it's been a very, very long day. If you don't mind, we'll take a minute to just acknowledge a number of people who helped make these graduations happen. Behind the scenes, there are many, many dozens of volunteers. They might be the ushers who helped you to your seat and helped you across the stage. They might be people who helped with your costuming maybe with the photographs that you might be taking afterwards. Um, I'd like to acknowledge uh, our interpreters from the New Zealand Sign Language Service. <laughs> and the many, many people, too many names to, re to recount, who have helped make today possible. And then there are three more groups. I know you would agree that as magnificent as your achievements are, you did not do it by yourself. And as you walked across the stage, I think we were all really excited and impressed by the career choices that you have made, stunning career choices. But for a moment, I'd like to talk about another group of people in this room who I think also made a stunning career choice. Their career choice what they dedicated their lives to, what gets them out of bed every morning is helping you get to today. Could you please give a massive round of applause to this incredible group of staff from Unitech? <laughs> and if there was one group of people in the house tonight who maybe helped you even more. It's your whānau and friends. Ho mai te paki paki mō tō And it's only fitting that we save what I'm confident will be the loudest cheer for last. Staff, Fano, friends, give it up for the graduates. I will invite Matua Hari back to the stage to uh, lead us in Karakia Whakamutunga as well as to bless the Kai. Uh, then the academic, please remain standing then while the academic procession files out to be followed by the graduates. And then we look forward to meeting you all out in the foyer for some refreshments and most importantly, those selfies that I know are going to be on LinkedIn before morning comes. A call to the stage, a pai arahi, mātua hari. Kei nui tātou, and let us pray. Ka wehe hati tātou, i raru i te rangi māria, te harikoa, me te manawa nui. Hau mi e, hui e, tāe ki e, and the blessing of your food. Nau mai ngā hua papatua nuku, me ngā kete kai o rangi nui, whi tiki ki ora, hau mi e, hui e, tai ki e. Ki ora tātou. Mm -hmm.